glimpses of the ultra-fast world of electrons are changing scientists' vision of the inner workings of atoms and molecules. The 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics goes to three physicists who illuminated this realm with ultra-short pulses of light, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences announced October 3rd. A monkey that received a kidney from a genetically engineered miniature pig lived for more than two years after the transplant. Scientists took a molecular red pen to donor pigs' genomes, editing the animal's organs to be more of a match for humans. Such an editing strategy could one day make it more likely for people's bodies to accept organs from different species. Pursuing academics is a challenging and rewarding endeavor that requires dedication, hard work, and effective study strategies. Achieving academic goals and succeeding in chosen fields can be accomplished by setting objectives, managing time efficiently, seeking assistance when necessary, and developing a growth mindset that embraces challenges and values learning. Positive psychology is a relatively new field that emphasizes the promotion of well-being and positive emotions rather than just the treatment of mental illness. Positive psychologists study topics such as happiness, gratitude, and resilience. By promoting positive emotions and behaviors, positive psychology interventions can improve mental health outcomes.
charitable giving has the power to transform lives and communities, providing support for those in need and promoting social justice. Donating time, money, or resources to charitable organizations can make a significant difference in the lives of others, while also promoting a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Social media has become ubiquitous in modern society, but its impact on mental health is still being studied. Research suggests that social media use can lead to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression, highlighting the need for responsible use and regulation. It is important for individuals to be mindful of their social media use and to seek support if they are experiencing negative effects on their mental health. Early childhood education plays a crucial role in a child's development. It provides a strong foundation for future learning and helps children develop social, emotional, and cognitive skills. High-quality early childhood education programs can make a positive impact on children's lives and their future success. Higher numbers of patients were infected than during previous outbreaks of the illness. Higher numbers of patients were infected than during previous outbreaks of the illness. Most teaching staff make their lecture notes available online. Most teaching staff make their lecture notes available online. Sydney is Australia's largest city, Chief Port ANC Cultural Centre. Sydney is Australia's largest city, Chief Port ANC Cultural Centre. There will be a conference here next summer on using a web for academic research. There will be a conference here next summer on using a web for academic research. The final year will consist of four taught courses and one project. The final year will consist of four taught courses and one project. He startek his tutorial presentation right on time. He startek his tutorial presentation right on time. The lecture will deal with the influence of technology on music. The nearest automatic teller is in front of Anatomy Labs. The nearest automatic teller is in front of Anatomy Labs.
newspaper are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. Newspaper are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. The university has world-renowned school of archaeology. The university has world-renowned school of archaeology. Successful applicants will work with a large team of researchers. Successful applicants will work with a large team of researchers. The Arts Magazine is looking for a new assistant editor. The Arts Magazine is looking for a new assistant editor.
As an individual caught selling a large quantity of drugs in my late teens, I knew firsthand the power of opportunity as opposed to the wrath of the criminal justice system. Along the way, with the help and guidance of my district attorney, my supervisor and judges, I learned the power of the prosecutor to change lives instead of ruining them. And that's how we do it in Boston. We helped a woman who was arrested for stealing groceries to feed her kids get a job. Instead of putting an abused teenager in adult jail for punching another teenager, we secured mental health treatment and community supervision. A runaway girl who was arrested for prostituting, to survive on the streets, needed a safe place to live and grow something we could help her with. I even helped a young man who was so afraid of the older gang kids showing up after school, that one morning instead of a lunchbox into his backpack, he put a loaded 9mm. We would spend our time that we'd normally take prepping our cases for months and months for trial down the road by coming up with real solutions to the problems as they presented. Which is the better way to spend our time? How would you prefer your prosecutors to spend theirs? Why are we spending $80 billion on a prison industry that we know is failing, when we could take that money and reallocate it into education? I'm a researcher at the MIT Media Lab, part of the Opera of the Future group, and my research focuses on the relationship people have with their own voice and with the voices of others. I study what we can learn from listening to voices, from the various fields, from neurology to biology, cognitive sciences, linguistics. In our group we create tools and experiences to help people gain a better applied understanding of their voice in order to reduce the biases, to become better listeners, to create more healthy relationship or just to understand themselves better. And this really has to come with a holistic approach on the voice. Because think about all the applications and implications that the voice may have, as we discover more about it. Your voice is a very complex phenomenon. It requires a synchronization of more than 100 muscles in your body. And by listening to the voice, we can understand possible failures of what happens inside. For example, listening to very specific types of turbulences and nonlinearity of the voice can help predict very early stages of Parkinson's, just through a phone call. Listening to the breathness of the voice can help detect heart disease. And we also know that the changes of tempo inside individual words is a very good marker of depression. What is the formal name of breathing? How to describe people who are the original earliest known inhabitants of a region? What is the tallest living quadruped animal in the world? How to stimulate an individual's immune system to develop adaptive immunity to a kind of viral. 